I reached my freshman year of high school and my mom actually gave me a challenge the first day of my freshman year of high school. High school. She said, Christina, I love you and I believe in you, but there's just no way that I can support you financially once you graduate from high school, so you've got to figure out your own way to pay for college. And at first, I was shocked. I thought, why are you telling me this? I am a freshman in high school. What can I do about it? And I started getting pretty frustrated for a moment, but then at the same time, I knew that she was just trying to be real with me. She actually said, Christina, you're not meant to struggle financially your entire life, and if you work hard enough now, I know that you can go to a great college and start fresh. Mm -hmm. And I started- Were you even thinking about college at that time, or? or yes bit? and no, a little okay. bit. Yeah, I've always been pretty ambitious, and I knew I wanted to. Um, to do something, mm -hmm. you know, in my future, but it wasn't like on the forefront. At the moment, I was just trying to figure out high school. <laughs> right. Um, Freshman year. Right. I was just trying to like be cool and figure out what I was going to wear the next day. Um, but it did get me really motivated and I started doing a ton of research. We read books and I interviewed alumni from my high school that had been successful in the scholarship process and um, just watched different interviews and tried to put together a strategy that would help me stand out in the process. And we did that and I felt like I had a pretty good idea and then I just started executing and trying to build up my resume throughout high school and do things that I loved but also do things that would help me get into college and win scholarships. And so I worked throughout high school and um, was super active, did a lot of volunteer service hours, was in a lot of sports. And senior year of high school, I ended up treating the scholarship application process almost like it was a part-time job. I just applied, 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 and... Do you know how many scholarships do you apply to? Over 40, um, which is actually low compared to some of the people I've talked to. I've put tons of effort into the ones I did apply for. Um, I was pretty OCD about my essays and all of the applications. I, um, for one of the biggest scholarships I won, I actually wrote seven different essays and I had like seven people review every single essay to make sure it was strong and help me improve it. So I just really took that process really seriously and thankfully I ended up winning over a half a million dollars in scholarships and was able to go to my dream school completely debt free. And your dream school? Vanderbilt University. Vanderbilt, right yeah. here in Nashville. <laughs> right in Nashville. And then I went to um, Belmont for grad school on a full ride as well. So <laughs> what did your community think when they found out you received a half a million dollars worth of scholarship money? I mean, that is, an, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you. I kind of had a mixed experience. So on one hand, I had my close community friends and family who were really supportive. Um, I actually had a bit of a bullying experience in high school. Um, I did pageants and had some of kind of the like cliche mean girls that didn't really like that and ended up having a pretty terrible social experience starting like sophomore, junior year of high school. Um, so it was interesting because in hindsight, like looking back, I realized that, you know, my mom laid the foundation for scholarships. And I, I kind of describe it as like she laid the kindling for the fire and kind of going through this awkward, rough social experience, I feel like was the match that like lit the flame for the fire. Like it made me so motivated to get out of town and to move forward and move ahead in my life. So it was, it was a challenge, but it pushed me forward. So it was funny because my community was super supportive and excited that I won scholarships. But by the time I actually started applying for scholarships, I was just, struggling socially that I ended up not telling anybody that I was applying for scholarships. I um, kept it really quiet and uh, just when I won a half a million dollars, it was actually kind of a shock on awards day. A lot of people, they, the principal started being like, there's somebody in our audience who um, you know, has won the Coca-Cola scholarship and she's going to a top 20 school. And people were looking around like, who is that? Oh, you really <laughs> did keep it a big surprise. Yeah. What was their reaction? I mean, there were definitely a lot of jaws dropping because I just, I just didn't make a big deal of it. That is an amazing story. How did you handle all the bullying? Uh, you know, honestly, I think in hindsight, it was a blessing and it actually led to a lot of the scholarship success because similar to that story when I was younger where, you know, I hit this dark patch and then ended up trying my best to turn the darkness into something positive. It was that similar situation again where it's like for about six months, I really struggled and um, didn't really want to leave my room and just wanted to cry about it. And then I hit a spot 
um, the spring after it started, where I made a playlist of songs that would pump me up. Whenever I started feeling bad, I was like, I'm just going to listen to this song, and I'm going to listen to that song. And it just completely shifted my mindset and thinking. And in that period, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start fighting and working harder on the things that I can't control. I'm going to pour into my job. I'm going to you know, do more volunteer hours. I'm going to just work harder on the things that are good and positive and that I can do something about. It doesn't matter what background you come from or you know, what your life experience has been up to this point. You can start your story fresh and get an amazing education and you can do it debt free.